My buddy Zach, bless him, gave me this dope old Minolta lens. It's this Minolta MD50 1.7, but it is a traditional film lens, so the aperture is, you know, manual control, iris and everything. But uh, the ones I've got now, I'm using cinema lens, I'm trying to use them kind of as cinema lenses. So I want to declick this aperture. Um, declicking meaning right now, uh, the f-stops are fixed in position, so you hear that little... It's actually a little ASMR right now. Those of you who like film camera noises, it's a little good one for you to sample that. The reason we want to do that is just so this aperture blade smoothly changes. It's opening there, so that way while we're Say you're going from indoors to outdoors during a shot, that's not a const that's not clicking as it's going. You don't want to hear that, and you want it to be a smooth transition. Uh, there are a few movies I'll try and find some examples that do iris pulls. Um, anytime I see it, that's just like, okay, some cinematographer wanted to flex a little bit. I see you. Um, so because you need a focus puller and then an iris puller, or somebody doing both. I watched a video, basically, we're gonna just start unscrewing some of these screws. There may be some springs, I'm not really sure, but it's, it's cool to see, I, there's no way I'm gonna get it, be able to, I might be able to see it with my phone, but the way the, all the different elements, uh, yeah, I just love that. So, let's see. We're just gonna start with these small screws, and they mentioned they may be quite tight, Keeping all these kind of grouped up together so that way they, they get going in the right place. The first mount ring. What I was saying is essentially you want to make sure before removing any part of anything just to make sure there's no tension or any springs because if a spring flies off and you lose it because that's what springs do, they fly off never to be seen again. more screw on this next piece and essentially we're just looking to remove it until we find a part with a ball bearing and we're gonna take that ball bearing out. That's literally all we have to do but I know nothing about the lens or its mechanisms. I couldn't find a video after you know a good <laughs> five seconds of googling. I decided against it and just to go for it and I'm holding this piece down so that way if you know, maybe these springs are holding down any tension or something like that. It's not going to um, fly off. And, and then the wheel flies off. A great um, a steering wheel that doesn't whiz out of the window while I drive it. So see, yeah, this does feel like it has some tension to it. Like I'm feeling some sort of sp spring or lever. Okay. Right here, the smallest little thing. That's amazing, I fucking love this. There it is. Shaky, because I was so nervous doing that. Let's see. Right in there, there's some divots along there. Uh, kind of greasy, but that's where that ball bearing would sit. Folks, a fully clicked or declicked now aperture ring. 
nice and smooth. It's not clicking anymore on these numbers. It's just a smooth trend. It's got, there we go. You can hear it now. It's actually way less satisfying. I'm sorry. Just kind of rotating metal, but nice and smooth. It's kind of jumpy at that first little bit, probably because it's not mounted on anything, so there's nothing holding that uh, this lever down. But yeah, there you go.